Whoa, hello there, I'm back. <laughs> I apologize to all of you. I haven't made a video since uh, last Sunday uh, when we had some of that weird weather going on and uh, I've been kind of uh, occupied doing a few other things and decided to uh, just wait and finally catch up and I uh, apologize for waiting so long to get back with you to give you a weather stats and forecast video. Uh, of course, hi, I'm William Brantley uh, from the North Jackson, Tennessee area uh, near West Town Commons uh, Shopping Center on uh, Walker Road and I'm finally ready to give you an updated uh, um, forecast video and uh, weather stats uh, for you. Uh, and a forecast course for the next few days. Now since I am a little behind on it, I, I'm gonna to try to go back just a little bit and give you the at least the highs and lows of rainfall amounts for the days that I missed. Uh, which would go back to Sunday the 23rd and, uh, and up through today and then I'll be kind of caught up. Um, Sunday was the 23rd. Uh, the low temperature that day was uh, 47 here. The high was 56. So we ended up not, not breaking the coolest high that day. We were within one degree of that. So we ended up uh, saving that one and the old record held. And I forgot what that record was in 1984 or something like that. Uh, 50, I think it was 54 and 84 or something like that. And we almost broke it, but it got on up to 56 on that day, so the old record still stands. <clears throat> and on the 23rd, uh, yeah, on the 23rd, I'm about to put my glasses on here in a minute. <laughs> uh, we had 3,400 of rain. On the 24th, which was Monday, we had a low of 49 and a high of 74 with no rain. On the 25th, uh, Tuesday, the low was 49, the high was 82, I believe, and no rain fell, at least here in North Jackson. And yesterday, the 26th, Wednesday, we had a low of 61 and a high of 82, with 93 hundredths of an inch of rain fell here. And that was last night, uh, between about 9 p.m. and midnight. Then it rained again right around 2 to 3 o'clock or so this morning. That uh, gave me about 500 of an inch of rain. So that kind of catches me up on those days. And thought I'd share that with you just in case uh, uh, some of you might be wondering what actually happened on those days here, statistically speaking. Whew, can't believe I said that word okay. <laughs> Anyways. Other than that, uh, I guess I'm kind of ready to get back to my normal uh, weather reporting, at least I hope so. Of uh, course, I have been a little sick the last few days uh, with the allergies and all, and I think I'm finally about to get over it good enough to do a regular uh, report. And uh, I've missed uh, talking to you, so maybe I can get back at it. Okay. I'll go ahead and read you uh, today's stats as of 5 o'clock, and then I'll go to the other graphs here in just a few moments. As of 5 p.m. Uh, here in North Jackson, the skies were clear, was clear, or whichever word you like. It was 68 degrees at that time. The dew point was 52 degrees. The relative humidity was 55%. The wind was out of the southwest at 5 miles per hour, and uh, barometric pressure was 29.82 inches of mercury. Uh, I've had, like I mentioned just a moment ago, 5 hundredths of an inch of rain today since midnight. That was around 2 or 3 o'clock this morning, I believe. Uh, I'm now up to 5.44 inches for the month. And uh, for the year, I'm up to 17.70 for the year. And we are above normal on both uh, figures. Normals uh, for now is 4.35 for the month. 
Remember I just said 5.44 and 4.35 is normal, so almost an inch above normal, if I'm calculating that right. Or maybe over an inch, just a touch. Anyways, I uh, said uh, 1770 uh, for the year. Normal was 1734. So we are just a little bit above normal, even on the yearly total. <laughs> it took the end of April to put us above normal. How about that? That's just the way it happens sometimes. Oh, by the way, today's low temperature was 50. Normal's 52, so we were close to normal. Today's high was 69 degrees. Normal high is 75. And... Uh, I guess I'm ready for the other stats. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Uh, lowest relative humidity today was 55% at 5 p.m. The highest was 97% at 2 and 6 a.m. The lowest uh, barometric pressure today was 29.58 inches, and that occurred at 12 a.m. And the uh, highest barometric pressure was 29.85 inches, and that occurred at 12, 2, and 3 p.m. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you the records. I forgot to write down the sunrise and sunset times. So I will actually show that to you when I go to my forecast blog here in just a few moments. Uh, today's records for April the 27th would be 93 degrees would be the hottest high. <laughs> you heard that right. 93 degrees in 1987 would be the hottest high for today. 55 degrees would be the coolest high in uh, 1963 or 1965, I'm sorry. 1965 is when that happened. The warmest low would be 70 in 1994. And the coldest low would be 39 in 1953. Today's rainfall record would be 2.32 inches, and that occurred in 2011. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to try to mention that last freeze, which I was trying to tell you all the other day, and I caught it. When was that? It was on, oh, yeah, it was the last freeze on record for Jackson, is April 25th, which was Tuesday morning, uh, when the low was 30 degrees back in 2013, fairly recently. So we had the so uh, April 25th of uh, 2013 is the latest or last freeze on record for Jackson with the low of 32 that morning. So all lows uh, from here on out, basically should be, uh, records at least, should be above freezing. Anyways, I thought I'd uh, pass that along to you. I uh, think I'm ready to uh, go ahead and give you some of the map features and then I'll go on to the forecast and give you uh, the uh, uh, other stuff. Graphs. Start off, of course, with uh, the forecast maps. And then I'll, I'll kind of give it to you a little at a time. I think I got it updated enough on paper to where I don't have to worry about showing the other just the sunrise and set times I forgot to write down. Hold on and I'll, let's go. This one, of course, is uh, the famous, <laughs> if I can call it that, famous uh, map features. As for tonight, of course, as of, uh, oh, 4 o'clock, close enough, 4 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service's featured map, and as you can see, uh, the, the front that gave us all that rain is to our east, it's along the eastern seaboard now, kind of. Low pressure there over eastern Alabama, high pressure over south central Kentucky. Uh, Florida's not too bad except for the Panhandle. They have a chance down there of some rain and thunderstorms, but within that dotted line area is where the storms are today. And on up northeast, uh, so so. 
But the low up there over Vermont and Maine and there up in that area, yeah, you see what's going on up there in the plant in the Great Lakes area. There's a warm front to our south that's supposed to move back through tomorrow night, I think. And how far north that warm front goes will determine how much rain we have over the weekend. And there are debating forecast models that's differing on how much rain we get over the weekend. I'll go into those details in just a moment. But as of right now, uh, the low is over the Panhandle of Texas with that cold front, with the warm front weather, uh, south of us but headed back in our direction. But for now, the rain and storms are to our west, as you can see, and well to our east. We're in a nice fair weather area for now. Out west, it's not too terrible. There's a few spots of precipitation out there, as you can see. And that's it for tonight. Okay, let me move it on till tomorrow morning's forecast map. Now, this is, of course, the National Weather Service's map. Um... I'll go ahead and read it to you. Tonight's forecast is calling for mostly clear skies for the remainder of tonight. We should have, uh, and at least for the first half of tomorrow, to lunchtime anyways, we should have a low tomorrow morning, about 51. It should warm up to 82 tomorrow, but by around noon, it's going to become mostly cloudy for the remainder of Friday and Friday night. And it's going, uh, that's that's the forecast model that I go by is, uh, is uh, telling me that. Uh, we should have uh, south winds at about 15 to 30 miles per hour tomorrow. So it'll be a little windy, but not super windy. Now that's the, now that's the uh, forecast that I just quoted to you. The Weather Service kind of agrees, but they want to push... Uh, the threat of severe weather and heavy rain in our area a little more strong than what the one I just read to you. So we'll see who, how this works out. This is for tomorrow morning as of about, oh, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 4 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. As you can see, according to the National Weather Service's forecast map, uh, there's a huge area of severe weather threat tomorrow, all the way from the to, from the Texas Panhandle to uh, to Central Ohio, and right over the western half of uh, Tennessee. And there's even a pretty good size area of red indicating the threat of flash flooding. There, it's also from about I-40 northward and over a good chunk of uh, northern Arkansas, southern Missouri, western Kentucky, and uh, eastern Oklahoma. And that's for tomorrow morning alone. See how, see that limit at warm front right, right there was down closer to the Gulf of Mexico this evening, but it's uh, getting closer to Memphis by tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Right now, the printed forecast is not calling for any rain here tomorrow at all. Just clouds to move in. As a matter of fact, uh, from my printed forecast model, doesn't really have rain moving in until Sunday. And there are some indications it may hold off to Sunday night. Now Sunday, the chance is generally around 50-60% during the a.m. hours. But it really doesn't pick up to nearly 100% till Sunday night. So uh, mine is saying that really the best chance for rain and thunderstorms here in Jackson is not until Sunday night, around 7 o'clock. And that should end around midnight Sunday night. Now that's according to mine, it, because it could fluctuate between now and tomorrow. But uh, right now, this is the Weather Service's outlook. And I just told you my other one. I hate to uh, disagree with them, but right now uh, there is a disagreement in forecast models, and I'm giving you both of them to see what happens. All right, Sunday morning, Saturday morning, I'm sorry. Saturday morning around uh, 4.15, Jackson, Tennessee time. 
you can see it changes a little bit. This goes along with the uh, uh, look at all that heavy snow. My goodness, out there in cold water and and what is that? New Mexico. My goodness, snow this time of the year out there. <laughs> My goodness. But anyway, that's why it's showing. Uh, go ahead and fast span around to get a good idea of what's going on around us. Going into this one, that's this, this is kind of going along with what I just quoted to you, the, what I call the printed version. But the weather service is forecast Mount 4 Saturday morning, and like I said, 415, has that low pressure over Texas, western Texas, with the huge area there in yellow of the threat of severe thunderstorms, which is basically roughly Memphis to Jackson northward, Memphis to Jackson to almost Nashville northward and then to the west of there is that big area of red that's the flash flood threat of uh, heavy rain and now that's that has been moved to just west of the mississippi river as you can see now i've seen different projections uh forecasting uh, uh for arkansas uh yesterday I believe it was the day before yesterday, which would be what, uh, Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday, one forecast model had as much as 12 and a half inches of rain predicted for northwestern Arkansas from um, basically yesterday, from Wednesday through next Tuesday, I believe. And yesterday, they dropped that down to around seven to eight inches. Today it's still about seven to eight inches for the northern sections of Arkansas, mainly west of Jonesboro, Arkansas, where they're expecting roughly five to seven inches of rain over there. But I don't believe we're going to have anywhere close to that amount here in uh, West Tennessee. The only exception might be uh, northwestern West Tennessee such as Dyer Lake and O'Brien counties, they may get a touch of that, uh, like maybe five inches plus up in that area. But uh, the main, but the heavier threat as of right now is going to be over in Arkansas. But it seems like every day that rainfall uh, projection uh, decreases some. And tomorrow, who knows where it'll be? <laughs> but. Uh, it has fluctuated. That's the reason why I don't even put that forecast uh, map on any of my places because it changes too quickly. And I don't want to come out and say that we're fixing to have 12 inches of rain or 6 inches of rain and, uh, and then that same forecast model 24 hours later cuts it all the way back to barely an inch. That's just so misleading but to me, but uh, that's just my thoughts. But then again, that's only a forecast, and you know forecasting a forecast <laughs> isn't perfect science know-how. But uh, anyhow, but that's the threat as of right now uh, from the National Weather Service, and I think most of the cases, Jackson's going to miss it if my printed forecast model holds up. They may change and go along with this before too long. Who knows? And I hate to sound so I don't know, uh, about it, but uh, depending on who you go by as to what you want to believe, basically. And anyways, good Lord knows what, what he's going to do, though. <laughs> I'll put it that way as well. Okay, now let me see if I can... I ain't showed you the radar yet. Well, there's nothing there to show, for one thing. I thought I'd go ahead and show you the wide, expanded view this is a uh, live radar as of 6 15 p.m of course it's clear skies you're not gonna see anything let me see if i can back this up you can get a pretty good view of the area maybe you can make it out it's no rain anywhere near west tennessee not even close uh, not all the way over to the eastern border all the way out to central uh, all the way to panhandle oklahoma and point south as you can see we're rain free in uh, West Tennessee. Thank goodness. And I'll go ahead and put it right here. And that's a pretty good summary. 
right there. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the read the satellite picture. I think I forgot to show you that last time. Uh, here's the regional satellite photo as of 6.30, 5.30 our time, a little over, almost an hour ago, about 45 minutes. Uh, as you can see, uh, courtesy of Vacuum Weather, of course, uh, there are some clouds to the east of us over in the Carolinas. Tennessee, for the most part, is clear. Uh, and there's some clouds over to the west of us there over in Oklahoma and Kansas. They're moving east. Uh, south of us is fairly clear for the most part. Florida looks great, uh, cloudy there in the panhandle of Florida a little bit, but otherwise Florida looks real good. And uh, most of uh, all of Tennessee, except for the very northeast corner, looks great. So uh, we're in the clear today. And uh, probably will be at least till noon tomorrow before we have any more clouds moving in. Alrighty. Let me see what do I need to go to now. Oh, forecast map. I need to have something. Now I forgot to. Let me pull it up real quick so that I can take it to you. Alrighty. Let me pull it down so I can read some of this to you. Uh, let's see if I can get it to come down one more notch. There we go. We're almost too far. Okay, this that way I can give you sunrise and sunset times too. Okay, for this evening, rest of tonight, I guess. I, I updated it about 10 minutes to 5. Because uh, we had that shower and thunderstorm threat to 4 a.m., and it pretty much showered more than anything. It became uh, mostly fair by noon. It'll be mostly clear the rest of tonight. Projected high was 71, hit 69. That's pretty close. Uh, the sun sets tonight at 7.39, and it rises tomorrow morning at 6.06. .06. The moon rises, well, already rose, actually, and be sitting tonight at 9.00. 11 p.m. the moon will <laughs> excuse me <laughs> well uh friday it looks like like i mentioned mostly clear skies till noon then mostly cloudy right now no rain's expected for jackson and most of west tennessee with the low temperature tomorrow morning near 53 and a high of 86 hey it's we got a warm tomorrow 86 degrees with uh south winds at 15 to 30 my sun rises, like I said, tomorrow morning at 6.06, .06, sets tomorrow night at 7.39. The moon will be rising tomorrow morning at 8.03 a.m. and set tomorrow night at 10.20 p.m. I then move on down to Saturday. I'll probably go through the weekend at least. I'll try to anyways. Okay, Saturday as of right now. Looks like mostly cloudy till noon, then fair for the rest of Saturday, with a low near 70 and a high of 86, with south winds at 15 to 30, sun rises at 605, sets at 740, the moon rises at 859 Saturday morning, sets at 1125 Saturday night. On Sunday, this is really the best chance for rain and thunderstorms, I think. Uh, will be Sunday, possibly as late as Sunday night. I'm going to go with most of the day on Sunday right now. Mostly cloudy with a 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Right now, just rain by Sunday night. So the storms will be over with a Sunday night and to be just rain for the rest, most of Sunday night. Still a 90% chance of just that. With a low near 70 and a high of 77. With south winds at 15 to 30. Sun rises Sunday morning at 6.04, sets at 7.41. The moon will be rising at 9.57 Sunday morning and be setting at 12.24 a.m. on Monday morning, May 1st. And let me go ahead and give you Monday, why not? Then I'll cut it for tonight, I guess. Uh, Monday. I give you Tuesday since I got it up. Monday, May 1st. We're almost a new month coming up. 
Monday, May 1st, mostly clear skies with a low near 51, a high of 69. With ooh, windy, it's going to be west wind at 20, gusting to 40 miles per hour. So it's going to be a windy day Monday. Sunrise at 6.03, sets at 7.42. The moon will be rising at uh, 10.58 a.m. and be setting at 12.50 a.m. on uh, Tuesday morning, May 2nd. And Tuesday's forecast for May 2nd. Mostly fair, mostly clear, whichever. Low near 50, high of 75, with southwest winds at 10 to 20. The sun rises at 6.02 a.m. Be setting at 7.43 p.m. The moon will be rising at 12.01 p.m. And be setting at 1.16 a.m. on Wednesday morning, May 3rd. And the first quarter moon is on May the 2nd. Okay. I'll cut it at that. Since, uh, I don't want to go through all of them right now. There's too, too big of a chance of it changing. Uh, I'll go back to uh, later, I guess. I let you see once more that uh, there's nothing in our uh, in our direction that'll be uh, affecting us anytime soon. And uh, there is one other map. Well, no, you always saw that on the uh, weather services forecast map of the threat of severe weather. I tell you what, I do. I'll turn it back on me for a few. No, 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 no. Never mind. I'll leave it on the uh, on the. Uh, um, this one and uh, I'll just leave it on this one and say goodbye or good night for now as you can see it looks like we're going to be okay at least through tomorrow with sunshine tomorrow afternoon with sunshine and then it's going to be kind of back and forth very be cloudy from tomorrow afternoon through Sunday and then back by Monday we'll get back to mostly clear skies and I still think the best threat for showers and thunderstorms here in Jackson is going to be Sunday. And it's possible it may hold off to Sunday night. But then again, you saw the other forecast from the weather service that's different a little bit. So we'll see uh, how, how together the, those forecasts get by tomorrow. <clears throat> and hopefully I'll be able to give you a better stabilized forecast. <laughs> Okay, well, that's it for tonight, my friends. Uh, I've already talked a little longer than I planned on, but uh, that's life. Uh, <clears throat> I hope all of you... Well, let me... Hold on a second. <clears throat> my throat's getting a little scratchy here. I hope all of you have a very pleasant uh, Thursday night, uh, April 27th, 2017. And I hope you all wake up to a beautiful Friday. April 28th, 2017, and hopefully I'll be able to get back to you tomorrow night back on a regular basis uh, with another updated uh, weather video for you. Well, alrighty, um, have a good night, everybody. Good night, and God bless you.